Okay, so guys, this is what it is. Um, I gotta move the the, cam, the computer screen for the Zoom. For anyone that wants to, to join us. Don't know if anyone will or not. But, so this is what we got going on. This is a whole pile of gear here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through it real quick with you guys on what I pack, what it all is, and what it all entails. So this bag right here, guys, this is my carry-on bag that I carry. Um, I'll just kind of, some of the stuff I don't have, like my toiletries, they're still in my, my bathroom. But uh, we'll go through what I put in here. So I'll have my toiletries, I'll have my headphones, you know, I'll have my tip money with me at all times. I actually have another little special thing upstairs. I don't know why I didn't bring it down. A um, little case for it all. And then I'll take, in here I also have some Advil. Little extra toothpaste thing, just a travel size one, so that way they don't take it from me. I will have in here. I'm only. I got two of these because we have two separate safaris coming up. What I'll do is I take actually folders with all my stuff in it. So like this is my Cameroon trip that we're getting ready for on the 14th of April. This has a copy of my passport, my 4457, my flight itinerary, and my visas and such for Cameroon in here. Over here with my South Africa one. There's not as much in there but it has copies of passport, copies of uh, 4457, flight itinerary in here as well. I will put these both in here. Obviously, I will not take them both at once because I fly right back. I will have my passport with me. I'll have the laptop that we're recording on because I take that everywhere with me. And then I'll be packing a book as well because I read on the flights and read in camp. It's always something good to have. And then what I'll also do is I will be taking... Um, on both these hunts, I'll be taking an SCI field journal to kind of just go over the species and stuff that we get lucky enough to take, hopefully, on these hunts. So I got two of those. I actually pack a backup one with me. And then on this hunt also, I'm taking a little sketch pad, little sketch pads and pencils, razor and a sharpener, because I like to sketch and draw. So I'll be kind of doodling around throughout camp, kind of doodling some of the stuff I see while I'm out hunting, kind of just a, or maybe some of the pictures we take. And on top of that, where are my, okay. On top of that, I have little notebooks here, little tiny pocket ones. Got four of them in here. I'll be taking them on each hunt. What I'll do is I will take notes, um, but what we'll do is we have tape measures. So I have a tape measure with me, and we'll measure the length of the bodies of like dikers. The, so we're hunting in the forest of Cameroon, we're hunting a bunch of bush species. We're hunting bongo, dikers, um, and kind of whatever else presents the opportunity because it's a lot harder to be selective in the bush, um, in the forest of Cameroon than it is anywhere else in Africa. Uh, just because opportunities should come at split seconds and whatnot, you can't really pass a whole lot of stuff. So in Cameroon, I'll be taking notes of hopefully if I get a bongo, take notes of the body, some different measurements of the body, um, head to tail, different measurements around the belly, stuff like that for my taxes for Stuart to be able to recreate that bongo to real life. Same with all the dikers, same with anything else we take. And then in South Africa, we're hunting a few different amazing species, such as blue diker, vol rebuck. Um, we're gonna be taking measurements of those if I'm lucky enough to collect those. Because the same thing is I wanna make the mounts almost as realistic as possible. So that's why we take measurements. So we'll take some of these and a little cloth tape measure. Trying to think what else I pack here in my bag. I got Advil, got an extra set here. Um, I'll take in my bag, I'll take some tissues, little tissues to carry on with me. Um, I usually pack an extra pair of socks in here to change throughout the airport. Um, while I'm traveling, traveling, I will have my neck pillow. This works great, and I think it might come in handy also in Cameroon as well too. You never know, like when you go places, pillows and whatnot. Um, so I take a little neck pillow for traveling. It's a lot of time sitting on a plane, so it's a lot of time to be sitting there with a neck pillow on. Um, I will be packing extra batteries. These batteries right here go towards my Gunworks range finder. Um, so I'll be packing those as well. I'll probably have them in here. So I got a laptop over here and toiletry bag that I don't have set out yet, but that's what will go in this bag as it is. So let's move this out of the way. These are just a bunch of extra batteries right here, another little tape measure. Um, so what we'll do is I'm gonna start out and show you guys what I'm packing just for the first leg which is South Africa. South Africa Safari with John X Safaris. It's gonna be five days of hunting. Six days, yeah, five days of hunting, I believe. So the weather in Port Elizabeth, because we're in the Eastern Cape, is calling for chances of rain throughout the time. So I am gonna be packing um, 
a set of rain gear with me. Just got the Northridge, Kuyu Northridge, top and bottom. I always mix and match colors a little bit. I'm not a huge guy wearing all the same color and not a huge camel guy, really. So I got two of these sets. I'm gonna set all this out and repack it as we go. That's what I'm actually gonna do. <clears throat> okay, so first thing in the bottom of this bag, guys, is I got a pile pile of meat sticks, first form meat sticks. I got some breakfast sausage ones and some smokehouse ones, um, original smokehouse. Uh, these are great snacks when you're in camp. At night, if you wake up and eat a snack, these are really good for a snack. Good snacks throughout the day, you know, when you're hunting. They always have a cool box on the truck that has snacks and drinks in it, but this is pretty nice, easy. It's pretty healthy as well. It's a nice source of protein, so we are packing these. And here I have my Courtney boots. Take these. Pretty much everywhere I go in Africa. I got a different pair for the forest that you guys will see here in just a few minutes and some different reasons why. But I do love my Courtney boots. So I have them in here. And then I got two gun socks here that I'm going to be giving to Carl and his crew. So I will be leaving those in South Africa so that will be not be a worry coming back. I'm going to be taking a pair of flip flops, call them like camp shoes, shower shoes, uh, wear around camp. Be super nice and easy to have these with me. Um, also going to John X Safaris is I'm going to take a handful. I got a bunch of just a bunch of coo a bunch of koozies that are branded for hunters up. I'm going to take a handful of these over to Carl's with me. Give these to the guys in camp. I'm going to be taking a few tape measures as well. Um, and then I'm going to be also taking a luggage tag for Carl. And uh, also I'm going to be taking two hats over to Carl. Put these in here. Trying to put those a little bit different. I got a bunch of stuff right here that um, I'm taking over to Carl as well. I got Carl's shirt, but then I also got a bunch of shirts for my trackers in here as, as well. Give them guys some hunter stuff stuff over there. So there's a lot of stuff in this bag that will not be coming back from, back with me. And it's just stuff that's not really necessary, but I want to take and take care of the guys. So I'm taking this stuff with me. I'm trying to see what all is on the table that I need. Um, oh, I forgot to show you guys in my carry-on, my bad guys, sorry, in my carry-on I'll be packing these, these are shipping tags to Monarch Taxonomy. So on the back here, well on the front they have all the Monarch information, as well as on the back they have the Monarch information and the DNL, which is the broker I use in the states, and then they have my information as well. So this is a shipping tag. I take enough to where when they cape the animal, there's one for the cape. And then there's one for the skull and then usually when you ship stuff back from Africa they actually have the horns popped off and I would take enough to give one tag per horn as well that way everything's secured everything is marked with my information on it so that stuff will be in my check bag as well um, so next up following the boots is a pair of canvas gaiters I take these everywhere in Africa with me love them they're great to keep any bugs, because in, especially in Cameroon, we'll be talking about that later, but it keeps all the bugs, keeps all the dirt and grime from getting in your suit, shoes, messing with your feet and your socks. Taking those. I'm going to take a, a sweater for in the mornings and late evenings um, on the days that it's not raining. And then I'm going to also be taking a vest on in case some of the mornings are a little cooler. Um, like 70s and 60s right now, so it's not going to be super cold. But I won't need it, but I'm going to take it in case. And like I always say, I'm taking, so what I'm doing is I'm taking two pairs of hunting pants. This is one of the pairs right here. I just take the solid color tack pants. Another pair of solid color tack pants here. And what I do, guys, is I wear a pair of solid color pants when I travel and I use them as travel pants and as hunting pants as a backup because like I've said before time and time again laundry is done just about daily or every other day in Africa so you don't need to pack the whole whole closet so that includes my pants a pair of shorts for around camp one hunting shirt And then another hunting shirt here. And I'll also be packing a few of these lightweight, just normal branded hunter sub t-shirts. Um, so this is my hunting clothes. And then I go over here and I got 
my rain pants that I mentioned right off the get-go. Those are going in. And then, so finally guys, what goes in my check bag here is I have an ammo box here. This one's from Cabela's. And what I did is I have two boxes of my seven SOM shells in here. These have to go, I'm putting them in my check bag in a little lock box. And what I do is I, I always preach about not using TSA locks on your gun case, but I will use TSA locks on these little cases. You know, I got one here that has a key, and then I actually have one here that has a combo. You can use either or. And what I do is I just lock this up and good to go. And I actually have a little case thing that I'll put these in as well. I'm actually going to grab that for you guys so you can actually see what that looks like. Okay, sorry for that guys. This is what I always carry my passport in. So I'll have my passport in here. Um, I carry my yellow fever card in here. And I'll carry like any like little flight information. I'll carry my tip money in here as well because it never leaves. It actually sits in a zipper pocket on the front of my pants there, my Kuyu pants. So what I'll do is I'll take this key, put it in this little zipper pocket, and it's good to go. So this bag is pretty much set. Make sure I've got everything I need to go in this bag, which it looks like. And of course I'll be taking, um, I don't have them in here yet. I will be packing, I'm gonna drop it. Oh, my fan, whoops. Break that before I get there. Anyways, um, sorry. Uh, what I'll be doing is I'll pack my socks. I take about three pairs of socks, two pairs, three pairs of hunting socks, two pairs of camp socks, and then the same about with boxers pretty much. Um, they'll be packed in here as well. So this is pretty much my South Africa bag, ready to rock and roll. And I mean, it's, there's nothing to it. It's super light, so super sweet. This is the South Africa bag. Now we're gonna be packing for the granddaddy mall trip right here, folks. This is the trip I've been looking forward to my entire life. I've known about these creatures for a very long time. And we finally got this hunt planned and in the works in 2020. And so it's finally booked. Me and my good buddy Tyler were heading to Cameroon hunting bongo and other forest creatures as I just explained a little bit ago. So I got a bunch of more stuff in here. But I also taken more stuff. Um, this hunt's a little bit longer. Quite a bit longer. It's a full 14 day safari. Um, and so it's a little bit longer. And I'm taking some more stuff um, for my PHs as well. So first off. I got, this is the pair of boots I was telling you guys about a little bit ago. To the same side of the foot. I have two pairs for me and two pairs for my PH Daniel Moore. Uh, he needed a new pair. They're palladium boots. They're a canvas boot with a rubber bottom and a rubber toe. You take two pairs because in the forest, it's super wet. You want it to rain so you can get tracks of the bongo in the morning and have a successful hunt. So you're gonna be dealing with rain, a lot of dampness, um, humidity, and so you're gonna have two pairs of boots to be switching in and out of each day when one's wet. So I got a pair for me, two pairs for me, and two pairs for Daniel in here. Um, like always, got my meat sticks. Again, I share those with the trackers on the truck, I share them with the pH, I eat them just as a snack during the day. Super easy, nice. I got my other pair of boots in here as well. I got some gun socks in here. I got some gun socks for Daniel, Dusty, Dustin, and Tyler. Dustin is Tyler's pH. And so that's, those guys are good to go. And so we'll have those in here and be good there. And then another thing is what I'm going to do is I'm taking two water bottles, one for me and one for Tyler. Let me get him a little Hunter Sub logo on. And then I'm taking three pairs of leather gloves, fresh from Murdoch's, because those thorns and everything nasty there are gonna eat them alive. I'm going to actually put these on the end pocket, down in here, tuck those in here. Same thing goes for Cameroon guys, a pair of shower shoes, camp shoes, something that's not, you know, 
that you can kind of walk through some mud or shower in. I always take a pair of Crocs with me. Um, so I'm going to take this pair of Crocs with me. Cameroon. Another thing, what fell a second ago, is we're taking fans. We're taking fans to Cameroon because it's so hot. And so at night we're going to have fans to cool down our tents and our rooms to make it more enjoyable to sleep. So I'm going to pack this in here correctly. Um, try to pack it in here to where it won't get completely smashed. So as I, as I pack, I'll be kind of moving it around in here. Um, I'll be taking a first aid kit here. That will go in here. I'm going to be taking, uh, I think this can fit in the gun case. So I'm going to go over that. Same thing here, folks. I got a, two boxes of the 404 shells in here in this Murdoch's case. It's going to go inside here. It also has the lock on it. I'm going to put that key in here. I'm going to take this as a backup. I'll probably put this in the gun case as a backup. Always nice to have backup locks. Same thing goes. I'm taking some, some koozies for the guys, some tape measures for the guys, and a few um, luggage tags for the guys. So there's a lot of stuff in this bag that I'm going to be taking out when I get there and leaving. Another thing, Dustin, Tyler's PH, Needed a fuel filter for his truck, so I'm packing a fuel filter with me as well. So it's a little bit bulky. Again, guys, traditionally, you're not taking all this stuff. Just t keep in mind that I'm, I would be down to nothing if I wasn't packing for a lot of other people. I'd be with two pairs of shoes, water bottle, Crocs, and bullets by now. And my bag would be pretty much completely empty. But I'm doing taking stuff to other people because, guys, remember, it's a third world country, and you can't get a lot of stuff while you're there. And these guys are just starting their um, forest season out right now. They've done the whole savannah season. Now they're just starting out the forest season. Taking some hats for the guys. I put those in there a little bit different. I forgot to mention, South Africa, I'm going to be packing my little leather belt um, pouch here with some extra ammo in it. And in Cameroon, I'll be packing the bigger one that will consist of um, soft points and solids because you never know when you're going to have to use a solid on uh, a diker or something smaller um, or maybe a forest elephant if we get a chance. Never know. Um, so I'll have solids mixed with softs in here as well. So I'll have that in here. And then we got the little one going to South Africa with me. <clears throat> going with us as well that I'll put in the gun case. I'll actually do the gun case stuff last just so that way it's out of the way. Um, most of the stuff will go carry on and stuff. Um, minus the toothpaste. I'll put like toothpaste, sunscreen, We'll go in the check bag. I'll be taking some vitamin C just to make sure I have some keeping my vitamin C going with us. That will go in my carry on. Will be my malaria pills, guys. Need these in Cameroon. They're required. So I got malaria pills. To make sure I'm good to go there. Um, this stuff's all going to be split up in the carry on a little bit and gun case. So we'll kind of put this to the side. Gotta go over the clothes first up. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take a little backpack with me. I usually don't ever take a backpack to Africa, but I'm gonna take a little backpack because I'm gonna be walking a lot. I'm gonna put some meat sticks in it and put a water bottle on it just to make sure I carry my own stuff. Trackers are always carrying stuff for you, but you know, I wanna be able to pack a little bit of my own, be able to grab my own stuff. So I'm gonna put this in here down with my fan. And then, like always, canvas gators. Canvas gators are going in, tuck them in there. Same thing with socks and boxers. I'll be packing a few extras just because this trip's a little bit longer. Hunting t-shirt. Lightweight hoodie um, for mornings and afternoons. It's been, with humidity, it's been between 100 and 107 there during the day. So, not gonna need a whole lot of uh, warm clothes just enough to keep my skin covered from all the the bugs and the heat and everything got myself a kind of a long sleeve shirt super thin lightweight i do have a light jacket for around camp or on the truck in the early mornings and late evenings in case it does get cold like especially with the humidity it'll get kind of it'll feel colder um so i do have a light jacket just for that reason not sure if i'll use it but um it's always better to be safe than sorry how i look at things especially when you're way over there like always one pair of hunting pants
another pair of hunting pants, and I'll be packed and I'll be wearing a pair of hunting pants as well to travel in. Like I always talk about, I always wear one pair to travel in and two pairs to hunt out of. That way I can use them all. They're all the same thing, all the same kind of pants. Um, next up, I got another lightweight long sleeve shirt for hunting in the forest. Again, I'll be packing several of these just regular, you know, t-shirts from Hunter's Hub with me. I left a boot out. Um, got a headband, guys. A lot of guys uh, in the forest, you'll see them. You're sweating a lot from humidity and you're hiking through the, the thick stuff. Just pop on a headband. Got myself a nice headband from First Form. You know, solid green color, a little camo solid green stuff going on. My favorite colors, as anyone can notice. It's all I wear. Um, so that will be going with me as well. Got a pair of shorts to hang out and camp with. Lightweight rain jacket. And lightweight set of rain gear. Again, it's a Northridge rain gear for you. And guys, the reason I am taking two, I'm packing two separate bags. Like normally, I wouldn't even need to pack two separate bags. I'd come home, repack everything, and have the same amount of gear going on both hunts. But you got to, like, I'm leaving on this Sunday, and then I get back the 13th of April. The 14th of April, we fly to Cameroon. Um, it's just the way the flights work, having all the different gear, different rifles and such. I wanted to make sure I had everything correctly. So I'm pre-packing bags. That way, when I'm back from South Africa, I'm not even getting picked up and brought home from the airport. I'm having the bag brought down, all bags going home, and I'm meeting Tyler at the hotel. We're gonna have a nice dinner and get ready to head to Cameroon. So it's super exciting that way. So guys, this is my Cameroon bag. Oh, I almost forgot. I got the same thing here. I got t-shirts for Dustin and, Dan and Daniel, and uh, I got uh, a bunch of stuff for my tractor guys in here as well, shirts and stuff for them. Take care of the guys. I'll be putting some boxers and stuff in here. Like I said before, and so that's my bag. I mean, it's a little heavier, but coming back, it's gonna be bone empty. So that's my Cameroon bag. As you can see, there's still stuff sitting up here. So I'm gonna bring over the other stuff that I'll be packing with me. We'll have a camera guy on both hunts, but I always pack, I love photography, I love taking pictures, so I always pack my own camera stuff. I'll be packing the camera we're filming with right here for YouTube. One of the new lens I just got. I got a 1500 RF lens in here. Have it nicely packed away. I'll be taking four sets of batteries. One battery's in the camera right now. Take a dual battery charger, external flash, and then the camera will fit in here, so this stuff's just been kind of chilling. What I got in this bag, guys, and I'll take this on both hunts, is uh, this will probably go in my carry-on. I just wasn't sure where I'd fit it yet. This is a bag, a bundle of bag full of just a bunch of charging stuff for international hunts. Has every adapter in it possible. Um, just a bunch of cool stuff in here. A bunch of different battery adapters, converters. Um, we have a multi-USB strip. What I'll probably do is actually dig out, so this one's North America, China, um, this one's Africa, but I know when I went to Africa last time, there was one that was a little bit different, and so what I'll do is I'll probably leave some of these here and just take, um, take the Africa stuff with me, but I went on to South Africa, there was a little bit different plug-in, so I don't want to be completely lost without it, so what we'll do is keep this all in here, charge it for everything, um, like I said, I have a little multi-strip charger here. This is a multi-USB strip. I'll probably put that up here. In here, I'm carrying Garmin Enreach. This thing goes everywhere with me. Love my Enreach. Being able, <laughs> being able to talk back to family at home is super nice. Tell them you're successful. Um, there's always the emergency thing on there as well. So. 
worst case scenario, you got that. Um, so I take that over with me. I'm taking an external hard drive on both these hunts, separate ones, to keep and capture all the footage I get and be able to take all the stuff, the raw footage from the camera guys on both these hunts. So this is my Pelican case, minus the camera that we're using the film with. This stuff's gonna go, this stuff will probably stay. There's different countries. that's been everywhere with me. Africa, Pakistan, Tajikistan, Turkey, as we're on this gun case has went everywhere. It's tried and trusty. I do have my new seven song from Gunworks in here. I'll be taking this to South Africa to hunt with John X Safaris for some planes game. So that's what we're hunting first. We'll be taking the seven song and breaking it in for the first time hunting wise. Super excited for that. In here I have a gun sock for it. From when we're in the truck right around, I have the new Revic rangefinder. I have my bolt. I have the little trusty Atlas bipod. Word is Gunworks is going to have some stuff coming out soon, maybe in May. Uh, then I have a, a rear bag that I always take with me. I have a bunch of earplugs. I have my sling that goes with me. This one's an older one. I might need that. Throw a new one in here. This thing's pretty rusted up. Um, so I'll throw the new one in there as well. I got that. I actually have toothpaste in here in case I... It's always back of toothpaste. So also, um, what I'll actually do is I'm going to probably take... Instead of putting these in my carry-on, what I'm going to do is take a chunk of these... I don't know which one has more in it. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this chunk right here to South Africa. So I'm gonna take my shipping tags and put them in here with my uh, my gun. Take this set of shipping tags to South Africa. That way we're good to go. Um, make sure that's all good. And then also I'm gonna pack a Leatherman. I'm gonna keep that in here. And then I'm going to also be putting, um, what else am I going to put in here? I'm going to put my, I usually put my headlamp and flashlight in here, but I'm thinking about putting that in my check bag, or my carry-on, just because like I said, I'm coming back from back-to-back -back trips, um, and I don't want to lose either or. I'll probably put it in here for just now on the way, no, you can't because batteries, duh. Got so many batteries in this stuff, so I'm not gonna put them in. I'm gonna carry it on. Brain parts. Anyways, so I got combo locks, guys. So what we'll do is I got one, two, three, four combo lock areas. I put a lock on each one of those to make sure it's securely locked and ready to rock and roll. So I will lock that up tomorrow before I hit the airport on Sunday. And that's my South Africa rifle case. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know where we left off. Hopefully, hopefully it's still rocking and rolling. I didn't re recognize that quit on me. Sorry, zoom. Okay, so like I said, um, I have that big chunk of foam and I'm gonna custom cut it tomorrow. But what I got in here, this will be the rifle case that I take to Cameroon. Same thing here, I got four locking knives. So I'll take four different locks for that. What I have in here, I always carry a copy of my 4457 form in with all of my rifles. But what I have in here, 
is my Heim 404 Jeffrey. It is, I'll probably actually leave it out of this gun sock while we're going to, just to go through the airport, just because they'll want me to uncover it anyways, everywhere we go. Yeah, cover it correctly here, start with the scope. Um, and then, So yeah, I'll leave this uncovered, but I'll keep this sock in the gun case. Like I said, I'm gonna cut, up, cut the case tomorrow to fit. Bolt is left out, because you have to have the bolts out, guys, when you're traveling. Um, in here, I also have two pairs of earplugs. I actually have some wipes, some REM oil wipes. I'm gonna be taking this um, whole bottle of REM oil wipes. That might go in my um, check bag, just tape it up. And then also, in here, I'm gonna be carrying a gun a boar snake for a 404 416 caliber. Tyler's taking a 416 so we can share this back and forth. Be nice and easy to use. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to pack in my safety glasses in here just because it'll be super secure. And then I'm going to be packing um, what else in here? Probably nothing else in there. This other stuff's going to be kind of going in a separate carry on, so we'll go over that next. So this is what I got as far as camera in my rifle case. Um, I don't think I need anything else per se in here. So guys, the few things that you see left out here on the table, I was debating on, and as I was packing, it's like a learning, it's always a learning curve and always a figuring things out experience. Um, I'm also going to be packing, I'm going to take these in my, I'm going to throw the, I'm going to throw the headlamp in the gun case, I'll have the headlamp in the gun case, I'm going to keep the Surefire flashlight in my check bag, or my carry-on, this is my new set of 8x32 NL Pure Binos that I picked up, um, the Swarovski's that I picked up from Epic Optics, I'm probably going to keep these in my carry-on, like I said I'm bouncing between two hunts super quick so I don't want to have the risk of a bag getting delayed or whatever. So I'll probably be packing these in my carry-on. So that will go in my carry-on. Um, that will be good to go. I got the two hunts or two hats for Dustin and Daniel. Um, I do have a little medical kit that I'll put in my gun case. I'll probably put it, this is just gonna go to Cameroon. I mean, I don't need it in South Africa. There's enough stuff to, if something happens, you're close enough. This just has a little bit of antiseptic stuff, has stomach medicine, stuff like that. So that will go in here. It's gonna go, my malaria pills have to go in my carry-on because I've been taking them three days before. So that will go in here, carry-on. Um, it might be able to fit in there actually and be good. I do have some nasal spray. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna need it. I'm super dry here in Wyoming and I had some nose surgery, so I always have to use this in the morning, but I'm super dry here. So I don't think I'm going to need this in Cameroon, I'll try to take it to South Africa with me. More um, clean access, extra Advil, extra Advil I'll put in the gun case once I get it cut out. I wear a Sunto watch and I just wear it the whole time, so I'll have that on me. Um, got a little na name tag, messy eye, this goes in, this is my passport and such. This is a hat that I wear. As you can see, it's my hunt hat. I wear it on the hunts all the time. It's a little little dingy, but it's kind of like my good luck charm. I'm putting some wet ones, probably in the gun case. Allergy medicine, um, that will go in my overnight bag. And then I do have some black tape that will go in this gun case once I get it cut out. And then I will be packing the rest of my shipping tags here um, in my gun case. So guys, that's pretty much, oh, forgot one important thing. This got to go in the carry-on too. It's a, or this could probably even be my Pelican. It'll fit on the top of my Pelican. Um, this is the battery for my fan, so this is very important and it is very much well needed. So this is the battery for the fan, and so yeah, that's all the stuff, guys, that I have packed for two safaris. It kind of seems like a lot, but it's really not. Like literally, if I wasn't taking so much stuff for other people, it would be nothing. Like I wouldn't even need that big Kuyu bag. Like I could use the same small bag to go to Cameroon if I wasn't taking a bunch of stuff for everyone else. And so I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I went over stuff a little bit more in depth this time. I still probably forgot stuff because I'm going to go back over everything tomorrow before I leave Sunday, tomorrow, Saturday, and I'm going to be going back over everything again. And so, but yeah, I appreciate y'all watching this video. Thanks for uh, taking the time and uh, we'll be st stick, uh, stay tuned. We'll be having some full on hunt videos, some gear reviews from the new shoes, the new binos, 
Uh, full on review on the 404 because this is the first hunt the 404 will be on. Bunch of cool stuff for first hunt for the seven song. So a bunch of cool gear reviews and long with some awesome hunting content coming to you guys soon here on the YouTube channel. And stay tuned, we'll be doing more hunting zooms like this. I hope you guys find them valuable. And uh, anyways guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Y'all have a great Friday night on Zoom. And then everyone on YouTube, thanks guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn the notification on, like and share this channel with a friend. Really appreciate all the support and help. And uh, you guys have a great night.